In this video, we are going to go over how to connect Laser Gribble to your machine and how to use Laser Gribble to move the machine around. First thing we need to do is connect Laser Gribble to the machine. If you look in the upper left where my mouse is, you will see a dialog here. It says COM. Right now, my machine is on COM28, but I have various COMs. Some machines have a lot of COMs, some don't have any. Yours might not be on COM28. Chances are it's not. The easiest way to figure this out is open up your list of comms. What I'm going to do is reach in the back of my machine. If you look at the video on the right side, you'll see my hand here. I'm going to reach in the back and unplug it. Now, as you can see, COM28 just disappeared. Okay, That tells me the machine's on COM28. I'm going to plug this back in. And COM28 shows up. That's the easiest way to tell what COM your machine's on. Okay, I'm going to select this. And chances are your bot is 115200. If you have a very, very old machine, <laughs> you might be at 9600. But chances are you're at 115200. Okay. <clears throat> so once I have the correct COM selected, I've got my bot at 115200. This little button here says connect. I can also go up to Gerbil. Right here, the Gerbil menu. And I can do the same thing. It's got the same little, little icon there. Okay, if I hit connect, my computer will connect to my machine here. Now, I know it was successful because this message right here was generated by my machine. It wasn't generated through Laser Gerbil. Gerbil 1.1F is a firmware that my board is running. You might have a different firmware. That's right. Now, mine also generated another message. It says message money sign H. That means it wants to be homed before it can move. If you look in the lower right, my status is alarm state. When I decided how to set up my firmware for this machine, I decided to set it up to need a homing cycle and to be in an alarm state until it's homed. Chances are, if you bought your machine off eBay, Amazon, Banggood, or if you're converted, if you converted a 3018, a 3016, a 1630, any of those little machines that are for milling into a laser machine, chances are you don't have a homing cycle. Okay? This one has a homing cycle. It has end stops here on the x-axis and back here on the y-axis. These little, these little switches here that it will run into to tell it the limits of the machine. So what I'm going to do, so my comm is, my comm's connected, right? I have this message from my machine, so I know it's connected. I'm going to turn my machine on. All right, machine's running now. So what I'm going to do, if you do not have a homing cycle here, and your machine is supposed to have a homing cycle, I'll go over that in a different video. But for now, I'm going to hit homing. And what it's going to do is it's going to run it into that end stop and this end stop on this axis. Again, this is if your machine has end stops and homing set up. Okay. So now that I'm connected, my machine is homed. So I'm connected, right? Generated this message, selected the COM port, selected the baud right, hit connect. I know it connected because of this message. And I did a successful homing cycle. It's got this little green check after my H, my register H. <laughs> Now I have these arrows down here. Now I can move the head around. Okay? I can move left, right, up, down. Okay? You'll see this little crosshair in here too. That tells you, this crosshair right here, this tells you where it thinks you're at in the world, in the machine world here.
on the right side, this tells you how far you're moving. On the left side, this tells you how fast you're moving. Okay, so if I want to move over 20 millimeters, everything's in millimeters in laser gerbil. I'm going to go bring this down to 20. I can also use my arrow keys to change my increments. And then I can go to the left side here and say I want to move it very slow for some reason. <laughs> I'm going to move it to, sure, 28.44 millimeters a minute. And I hit the right, and it's going to move to the right 20 millimeters at this speed, at 28.44 millimeters a minute. Go to the left, same thing. Go to the upper right, same thing. All right? If I want to make big moves, I can bring the slider up and make very big moves. If I'm impatient, I can speed this thing up. So that is how to connect it and move it around using this software. Thank you.